Hello boys and girls, my name is White Rhino PSO, and today we are playing more Viscera Cleanup Detail. Now, all we have left in this entire level is to grab all of these boxes, run them down the hallway, and add them to an increasingly volatile and horrible stacking job. Now, I don't think the game is going to grade us on how well we stack them, like this box is nice and flat with that one on top. Over here, we've got a filing cabinet that wants to birth itself. Jesus Christ. So, hopefully, I can add all those boxes to the top of the stack without... like that, without anything jumping out of the pile. And, uh, if the pile does fall apart... Oh my god. Stop. There we go. Uh, if, the, if the pile does fall apart, depending on just how catastrophic of a uh, mess it makes, I may just say to hell with it and finish the job anyway. Because I don't think anybody wants to watch another 20 to 30 minute video where all I do is tear a giant stack of boxes down to the ground and try to restack them. My heart is pumping a mile a minute right now. Because... Stop. Thank you. Because... I am very nervous that this is going to just make a gigantic mess. Oh my god, we've got so many left. Oh. Okay, that one only made a few noises, and I didn't hear anything trying to settle. Ooh, every time I throw something and I hear other things in the stack moving. Like... I begin to tense up. Oh. Fragile, and yet... Oh my god, stop. Please, stop. I'm really hoping that the game does not mind some of the different items no. No. Stop. Oh my god, stop. Why? All of you, why? I was two boxes away. I was two days away from retirement. Jesus Christ. Alright, there's nothing left on the stairs for boxes. All the boxes upstairs are down. All the bullet holes are welded. All the blood has been cleaned up. Oh, for a second I thought I saw a bullet hole on the ceiling. All, why can't why can't you all be as good as the barrels over here? The barrels are stacked, they have not moved, no matter how many times I've saved and reloaded the game. But instead, you assholes gotta make a mess like this. Right now, I'm just trying to kind of get everything in the bounding box. I have a feeling if I move this one, everything will go to hell. Stop. Okay, we're good. Run. Just run. Don't look back. Just run for the punch clock and get out of this goddamn level. 
I was not expecting it to take nearly this long. Please swipe your card and pull the crank. Attention, do not put gum on or around the device. Any and all perpetrators will be bumped up for reassessment. Thank you and have a productive shift. Has your janitorial work here met the requirements of the company as well as your own high personal standards? Uh, I could spend another hour and a half stacking boxes and hoping that they don't decide to you know, grind against each other, so I don't know if I'd say my own personal standards, but at this point, I think it's good enough. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I am proud of my performance and certain it will meet with approval. Loading the office. All right. How poorly of a job. Exceptional. Nice. I got... 3 out of 12 for Employee of the Year. <clears throat> Achievement progress. There was something about first aid, which is probably um, resetting first aid stations, and then I didn't notice the third one at all. Uh, employment Review, Aerospace Sanitation Incorporated. Official Employment Assessment, C. Wright. Oh, I guess the stamp. Exceptional. Name, Janitor. Age, 62. Occupation, Sanitation Engineer. Status, Employee of the Month. Project conclusion. After gazing at the hideous mess before you, you chuckled to yourself and set to work. Whistling crudely. How do you whistle crudely? Uh, you breeze through the facility's many problems. Stacking objects to the choruses of your big banger, the work was quickly done, and what a fine job it was. So I guess they didn't mind the, uh, the horrible landslide that, be that became the crate stacking area. After you made your way past some... After you made your way past some of your as-yet-unaware colleagues, you congratulated yourself and waited for the company's official inspection report with bated breath. Uh, I do believe there is a numerical value. Hey, 100%. Nice. Um, what were my old scores? I got 101 on Athena's Wrath, 99 on Waste Disposal, and... 105 on Frostbite. So, it did show 3 out of 12 for Employee of the Month. I guess I missed something in Waste Disposal. Maybe you have to be 100% in order to get the full markings. Um, ba -ba -ba. How long did it take me? 3, sorry, 7 and a half hours. Jesus. I probably could have gained more points by being more accurate with my reports. Yeah, death report accuracy, 0%. Report accuracy, 20. I feel like 20% was just because I added all of the um, personal identification device things into the machine. Um, that's weird. It doesn't actually say how many items that were incinerated or bullet holes or shells. Oh, I think I had the option to fill out actual more reports. So, like, this stuff would have been my own information put in. A lot of people died here, including Roger Wilco, the uh, janitor from the Space Quest series. All right, so we got some more notes around. Uh, the Outer Sprite, darkness gains ground, have hope. The darkness is strong, but we must have hope. We must fight to the last, just as Mr. John Stevens' fire fairy did. Who the hell? Uh, though the darkness enveloped his life, his life, Jesus, we as his fellow sprites who supported him give him light enough to reach the other side and beyond. As to those who left the the dark black scorch marks on the station and give the darkness passage we must show them the way before they swallow us all we must guide them with peace and love all right i think this one is because um remember that back hallway where we use the laser welder to burn all the chairs and computers i think there was still a little bit of soot somewhere like on the other side of the wall or behind the behind that plant and because of that, we get this um, this particular note. Now, have I been... All right, we do have a trash there, so I can throw that one out. 
Uh, what else do we have? Uh, the Station Times award-winning dumbass. A janitorial employee was recently awarded for their above and beyond the Call of Duty work ethic at a closed ceremony. However, upon receiving the award, they shook hands with the station mayor, completely forgetting to change or even wash their gloves. The mayor was soon covered in blood and rushed to the nearest medical facility with a nasty infection. The sanitation technician in question has since had their award stripped from them and will have to settle for Employee of the Month and our personal Bungles Award. Uh, from Sender Hidden, yesterday at 3.16 p.m. Subject, watch your back. Dear colleague, one day, and that day may never come, you'll be cleaning when suddenly you find yourself stuck in an airlock or under a lift. That will be me. You will be mopping blood when a panel hits you on the head. That will be me. You will be operating the slosh o -matic when it suddenly sucks you in. That will be me. I am a patient person. I can wait until the time is right. Every time you do a good job, remember that. Signed, Anonymous. It's interesting how if you do a terrible job, I believe you get quote-unquote fired, and I think the whole office gets cleaned out. But if you do a good job, then somebody really does not like you. Uh, the Station Times worker slips on blood, bleeds. Tragedy struck on Monday morning when Dr. A. Gribbler was caught unaware by a small patch of blood from one of his former colleagues. The blood remains unidentified, but the cause of the accident is clear. Failure on the part of the janitorial workforce. An inquiry has been launched to discover who is responsible for the poorly sanitized facility. Alien invasion notwithstanding, heads will roll. All right, apparently I may have missed a bit of blood as well. Uh, the cubicle caterwaul, radioactive paint kills staff. Damn it, did I miss some graffiti too? Horrifying, shocking, terrifying, debilitating. These are some of the words that describe a situation suffered by one group of office workers forced to endure intense radiation damage from radioactive paint on their office's walls. Management has failed to accept responsibility for this horrible affair, instead deciding to point fingers at their own sanitation staff, citing them as the bane of all things good. Whomever is responsible, it is hoped that they soon be brought it is hoped that they soon be brought to justice for murdering so many beloved workers. I guess I missed some graffiti. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, Floor 11, Administration Sector B5, L. Ron Quadrant, Haberia, Moon 5, Aerospace Sanitation Incorporated, official notice from the desk of Mr. B. Grubber. Dear employee, your exceptional performance has been noted. As I understand it, the inspector was most pleased. On behalf of upper management, I have been asked to invite you to a closed ceremony in which we will award you for your conduct. Many notable local dignitaries will be in attendance. Proper formal conduct is expected. What the hell is this music? Uh, failure to present yourself with dignity will lead to award forfeiture. And, you know, we already know how that went. Also, thanks to you, the performance marking system is being reevaluated. Thank you and congratulations. Uh, damn it, did I leave a friggin' bullet case too? The Station Times Casing Kills Nutcase. None other than the Howler himself was killed by a stray shell casing on Monday morning. Well known as a mythical figure and local legend on the station, this man was terrified, has terrified many a worker with his odd howling sounds and occasional... Glimpse? Maybe, glimpse. No one knows when he first appeared or who he... is? Uh, now we may never, but at least his tormented utterances will cease. The cause of his death remains suspicious, and there are certain to be punishments laid out for the stray casing that could have killed anyone. I am... Damn it. Get... Get in the friggin... There we go. Sort of. <coughs> Jesus. All right. Um, apparently, I missed a bullet casing as well. And a bullet hole. A bullet hole, a drug hole. Investigations into drug use on the station finally led to the arrest of a worker who hid his spice in a bullet hole in the wall. Uh, which, by the way, L. Ron Hubbard and Spice is reference to the Dune series of books. 
Uh, authorities are accusing management of poor conduct, claiming that they could have found evidence of the drugs sooner if there were no bullet holes to hide spice in. Management is of course blaming the sanitation division for the bullet holes presence and Okay. Um uh, ba -ba -ba. Uh, management is of course blaming the sanitation division for the bullet holes presence and are demanding that the culprits come forward. The confiscated pi spice has since vanished. Nice. It felt it uh, knocked that one in too. Uh, what's this one? Um, another from the Elrond Quadrant of Habaria. Uh, official inspection report as conducted by Mr. G. Laos forwarded to cleaning crew. I was genuinely impressed. Not once in all my years have I seen such an efficient crew. Not only was everything spotlessly clean and in order, it was also organized and tidy. He must not have gone down to the basement. I would love for this to become the norm, therefore I am requesting that we raise the expectations of our employees. A higher bar will encourage better efficiency. I foresee a troubled time for this crew. They are sure to be the envy of many of our more violent employees. In the meantime, I encourage you to award this exceptional crew. Get... God damn it. There we go. Alright, so that explains why... <clears throat> that explains why we always get death threats at the end of every cleaning job, because we are doing such a good job that uh, people are very unhappy with having to do more work. Yeah, there's that door code again, and I still have absolutely no idea how to find out that code. There's another one over here. Huh. Uh, but it looks like that is all of the notes we have to read. Uh, so, I guess that's it. We've got two paintings of Employee of the Month. Apparently, once I was a female and did not realize it. Eh, either way. So, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.